Hey guys, it's me back from shopping with my mom, my sister, my niece, and my daughter-in-law at the mall. So I came home. I was hungry. I had. I don't know. Did I tell you? I was, no, I'm not from backtrack to the vlog. But I was hungry by the time we left the mall. So I was like, you know what? I had to think about. I had took some chicken out. And my intention was to cook it in the crock pot. Kind of like my mom did the chicken wings with the lifted onion soup mix. But I was like, you know what? I want something a little bit different. So I thought about some barbecue chicken in the oven. I haven't had that in a long time. So I made me some barbecue chicken. And I measured out the sauce, so don't get don't get alarmed. You know, I'm still on my journey. I haven't met my goal yet. You know, I mentioned to you about the congratulations to me. <laughs> but I did two tablespoons of sauce on each on each thigh, and that's only seven calories, believe it or not. For two tablespoons of sauce, seven calories each. Some salad, the kale salad that I tell you about. I ate that because I couldn't wait. I was hungry. And I'm gonna eat maybe one of these. I'm just gonna add the 70 calories to whatever calorie each one thigh. Cause I'm only gonna eat one thigh. I'm not hungry no more. After I ate the salad, I was fine. But I want I want some protein. And the salad didn't have protein. It just had you know it, it's a, like a sweet kale salad kit. But this morning I had fruits. I fasted last night again. I did my um intermittent fasting. So after you, after I came back from the um downtown at the Vinoy, let me turn down Janet, cause I'm watching <laughs> I'm watching YouTube and I'm watching Janet Jackson the uh, interview. Afro beats, the I mean everything about it, it puts but, me in the mind of the Together Again video. See, yeah, I was watching that, but um after I came back from the um walking BB. I had fruit salad. I had a fruit salad. And that was all I had all day. So I was like, you know, I need to eat something with some substance. Oh, I'm not saying fruit is bad, but I needed something a little bit, you know. It healed me all day, though, to be honest. To be truthful, I, I wasn't hungry pretty much the whole day until late evening, after 7 o'clock. So no complaints. I had a bowl of fruit. But I'm going to fix myself this piece of chicken after it cools because it's still pretty hot. And... <sighs> I'll see you in my next clip. <sighs> Hi. Just getting in. I guess you can tell from where. Oh, the sweat. It's like, ooh. Yeah. It is a beautiful day, though. It really is. I did like an hour and 30 minutes. So, I'm feeling good. A little bit heated. But, it's not a bad thing. So I'm gonna get ready to have my first meal of the day, which is overnight oats. But I'm gonna take a shower first and drink me some water and rehydrate. So yeah. Before I shower, I decided to phone roll. So I'm gonna—I haven't done this in a while. It's good for you, but I. Sometimes I really don't like it. <laughs> My daughter-in-law came over and me and her have just been sitting Laying in the bed, watching TV, watching YouTube videos, just basically it. And you might notice I have on lashes. My face is so oily. They're individual lashes. And I've, um, I had them done yesterday. My hair is pretty. So, but now I'm out and about. I'm like, you know what, laying in here, watching exercise videos. I'm do one of them tomorrow. After I come back from my walk. I still want to go for a walk. I, I just enjoy that. And I weighed myself this morning. I'm still the same. 
my um, measurements are changing though. I'm a 36 in the bust, uh, 30 and a half, I think, in the waist, and a 40 in the hips. So, yeah, my wisdom, you know. Um, I got, yeah, I'm now 170. So, I might be less than that, actually. I haven't, um, well, that's since this morning. But I feel different. <laughs> and I can kind of tell when my body is, you know, lighter. So, yeah. So, yeah. I'm over halfway there. So, that's a good thing. I hope y'all day is going good. And you stand in a positive mindset, you know. Don't let it defeat you. Stay motivated, especially if it's working for you, regardless of who says it's not. You know what's best for you more better than anybody else does. I pray that you guys are making good choices, um, great decisions. In the summertime, it's usually crunch time for me when it comes to um, budgeting because I, d I drive a summer route, so hours are less. And right now, I can't afford to put up money set up for the summer for me to like, just be like steady. So I have to like, get by. And I do every summer, I'm just, you know, and I'm pretty sure it's like that for someone besides myself. But, we serve an awesome God, I serve an awesome God. So I don't worry much. I just get up and do what he says to do. Get up. Use the body I blessed you with. The breath, the oxygen. The mobility. And the love. The kindness and the compassion. The forgiveness. Get out there and put it to use. Or get up and put it to use. Just that simple. So now I am headed over to, well, I should have called him first before I went though. I'm feeling kind of preacher right now and I don't know. Not that that's a bad thing, but I'm feeling kind of preachy. <laughs> I'm going to visit my grandchildren and my son and daughter-in-law. This week is going by so fast. I got a little work Monday. Dang, he always hit this man. Them blow up people be on the, you know, I don't, I don't understand why people blowing grass with them blowers feel the need to walk on the road and do it. They can blow the grass from pretty much any angle. If it's got the proper kind of, you know, attachment, they pat their asses in the middle, in the, right in the, in the midst of traffic. And the man almost hit him. And then, you know, uh, the driver will be in the wrong for hitting the um, pedestrian. But they step stay outside in the middle of the traffic like it's nothing because they got a blower. <laughs> and they mind, it's okay. Oh, you know, it was an accident. I'm the pedestrian. Yeah, but there is a sidewalk and there's another angle that you can use to blow them leaves off the curb. Just, She peeking out the window. Hey. Hi. 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 I don't care. I don't care. Oh, kitty. 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 K
The guy, my daddy. Okay, okay, you do. Okay. Asa. Why does Dunkin' Donuts don't have fountain sodas? All I want is a damn soda. And not have to pay for it. Now I'm in the little Caesars getting my grandkids a pizza. Dinner tonight. Why well, can't find not, not one Dunkin' Donuts that's serving diet drinks right now? And at this moment, I ain't got to pay for not one of them. And nobody, well, no, the first one I went to had diet drinks, but they weren't fountain. They were in a bottle. I don't want the kind of drink. I could have bought that from a store. You know, I want I want to cut with some ice. But I went in and got, um, well, we went through the drive through I bought my son two glazed donuts. And here's the pizza for the children. So they got something to snack on. They demolished. I took them a, a, a container of glazed cake donut holes. From Publix, but you know the containers about this big. They demolished those. I'm like, wow. Is that me? What can I have? I'm like, yeah, actually, daddy first. So now we're at Circle K. Getting myself a fountain drink. That's my. I don't know what you want to call it. My fix. One of my fixes. For. The day. So I guess I should close this vlog out. Anyway, I guess I see my next vlog.